Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover parameterization with Excel file. So in this session, we are going to execute our test case with multiple data. Data is coming from the Excel file. So for that, first I'm going to prepare a test case. So here I have a test suite, test case. I'm going to add a test step. So add a step, so test request. I'm giving the name is REQ1. I'm going to hit the service get country by country code. First, I want to check my service is running or not. So for that, I have given the static input. I'm running it. And if we are getting response means service is working fine. So my test case or the test step is working fine for a single data. To execute my test case with the multiple data, so first I'm going to create an Excel sheet in which we are going to define multiple data. So here in the first column, I'm going to define country code. So first code I have given the IN, then US, then CA, then CN. So we can define any number of data over here for the country code. If you want to define the multiple test data like in the first column I have defined country code. In the second column I want to define country name. So you can define multiple data as well. So here I have defined two columns, one for the country code and other for the country name. I'm saving this file and saving to my G drive and here I'm giving the name so test data and that is a XLSX file. So I just saved it. So it's a XLS file. Moving to my SOAP UI, here I want to pick the data from the Excel sheet. So first I'm going to use a test step, which is data source test step. So in data source test step, I'm defining two properties. I want to pick two data from the sheet. One is the code and other one is country, which is country name. What is my data source? So my data source is a Excel file. Which Excel file you want to use? So I want to use G drive and then file name dot XLSX. Which sheet you want to pick the data? So here we can see I'm working on the sheet one. So I want to pick the data from the sheet one. What is the starting point of your sheet? So my starting point is a which is a column and one is the row so my point is a1 just execute this step to check i'm able to pick the data or not so i'm running it and here i want to pick all the data from the excel sheet okay so here we can see it pick all the data from the excel sheet and display over here if this data is coming correctly means till the time everything is fine we are able to pick the data from the excel sheet so now i want to use this data in our test step so as a good practice use this data source as a first step of the test case now in this test step i'm going to use the data which is from the data source and i want to use this code so everything is done. I'm going to execute my test case, but it is going to execute only one time with the first data of the Excel sheet. So I'm running it and here we can see my test case is executing only one time. And if I want to check which data it is using, so I'm going to the request one and here we can see it is using the first data from the Excel. So it is not executing with the multiple data because as of now we have defined the multiple data only. 
but we have not defined loop so it is executing only one time with the first data to execute it with the multiple data we have to define the loop to define a loop we have a step this data source loop test step so in the data source loop test step click on ok so here we have added a data source loop test step double click on this data source loop test step we have to define the data source so my data source is this step we have to select the data source here it is mandatory because by this it can understand that how many time this loop is going to be executed so here we have selected the data source in the data source we have four data so it understand that it will execute the loop four times so if you have 100 data in your data source it will understand that loop is going to be executed for 100 times what is the target step target step means the starting point of the loop so my starting point of the loop is req1 click on ok so here we can see that my starting point of the loop is req1 and the end point of the loop is always the data source loop test step so now i'm going to execute my test case and here we see it is executing multiple time so data source is executing only one time because my loop is going to be start from the RQ1 data source is before that so data source is not the part of the loop it is just passing the data to the loop so now loop is started from here RQ1 and we can check RQ1 is using IN which is first data of the excel sheet then that is the data source loop that is the end of the first iteration of the loop then for second iteration it is again using the next data which is us again for the third iteration it's going to use the data which is ca and fourth iteration it's a cn so every iteration it is picking the different data from the excel sheet important point that we need to remember is loop is always end at data source loop step and always start from where we want to start it so i want to start it from the req1 it's going to be started from the req1 so i'm defining one more step that is a delay so all the step which are placed in between this starting point of the loop and the end point of the loop will be the part of the loop so this delay is going to be executed in every iteration i'm running this test case again and here we check my delay is executing for the first iteration then delay executed for the second iteration then third iteration then fourth iteration so because delay is placed in between the starting point of the loop and end point of the loop so delay is the part of the loop it's executing in different iterations so this time we have created parameterization by using excel sheet so in this session we have covered how to execute my test case with the multiple data and data is coming from the excel sheet thanks for watching this video